It's big and freezing this morning. Well, oh, for Cornwall, five degrees. It isn't that cold, but it feels cold for us. Us Cornwallians, it's like it's like. Uh, mm, so unless you want to get in the sea because it's warmer in there than it is out here. So where we go? Look, look up. Five degrees. Bit of an early start from me anyway, because off to get the car serviced and MOT'd and then Clarabelle is gonna come and pick me up. She said, Oh, I'll be there, I'll be straight there. Yeah, I'll be there at half nine. Half nine, half nine. So it's gonna be a bit of a long cold walk, I think, in and around Truro. Mind you, I'm hoping, because we still haven't got the sun up yet, I'm hoping we're going to get some some decent sights. So, fingers crossed, let's have a bit of a wander around when we get in there. It's down a nice part of Truro. It's opposite Malpass Park. It's a nice view from where I stand. Uh, anyway, uh, you, you'll get to see it, I'll show you in a bit. So then, car's in for the service in MOT, so I get to have a bit of a wander. <laughs> Gotta be said, when it is this early, it's pretty damn picturesque. I say this early, it's not actually that early, it's just because it's winter time and the sun's not up yet. All the same, pretty damn nice. All the same, pretty damn nice. I really want to come out this time in the morning more often. Because look at that cathedral. I'll zoom in. The sun just catching the top of those spires. It's lighting up the sandstone. That's glorious. It's almost luminescent compared to the grey darkness at the top spire. This is looking down the estuary towards Malpass Park. Looks like there's some mist hanging around in the playing fields over the way. It doesn't look too pretty normally with just the mud there, but when the sun's glinting off the top of it like this, or the sun rises, that's awesome. So this is the back of the old, old part of the docks. See bits of evidence in and around. And then the, the main river. Here's what I'm thinking. Got a bit of time free, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if we can follow this river through the town, back up through the town, see where it see where it goes. Could be interesting. So this is Worth's Key, Newham and the Port of Truro. Ten minutes. Let's go with that. Three rivers that join: Kenwin, Allen. And glass Dean and all right let's go follow them then it just says Truro River I guess this is the convergence is where Truro River starts let's follow it and see see where we end up oh, it's decent yeah of course just like my garden it's all bit muddied over at the moment but I know in summertime this is quite a pretty little park area. God these buggers are big. And yeah huge thing. Yeah I see you. There we are back to the river again. This one is a bit tidal. When the tide's in, it does fill up a bit more than this. 
it's more flow than normal because we're in a, we're in winter and there's been a, a shed load of rain going on wharf that have been converted some dead old dead old and then the glory of the cathedral standing out amongst all Look at that. Sun's coming up now. Oh yeah man. In scale how big this bugger actually is. So there should be a footpath through this way somewhere. Where is it? So that's the stream, or that's the flow that I'm gonna follow heavy at the moment, really shifting. So, it looks like really old brickwork on the top, but it looks like there's been some sort of modernization, like concrete base place to it. I don't know, I suppose it could be granite from all the go, but that's nice. Look at that, see, you know, by the bungalows. A nice place to be. And this is right close to the town centre, or well, city centre. So you don't have to travel far at all to get your pint of milk. All right, where are we going next? Over that way. Goes up through there somewhere. I'm not sure where that goes now. Excuse me, I don't suppose you know where the river flows from through this way, do you? That little stream goes, does it go up? No, it's the... it goes along there, is yeah. that it? it? Goes along here. Oh, right, grand, thank you. Where you sit, and then you've got to get to that payment. Yeah, nice one, thank you. There we go, a bit of local knowledge. There we go, look. Bloody heck. Erected, 1881. Wow. Can we go on this side? I don't know, let's find out. District Council wheel clamp zone. It's not very welcoming. Nope, can't see anything that side. Gonna have to try down the other side. Somebody wanted to uh, really make sure that this scarf didn't get untied. <laughs> it's a bit of an interesting one, coming up to this area got this uh, viaduct over the back. I'm going to be able to walk up this way, we'll soon see. Not another wrong turn. That viaduct, that's, uh, that's for the main line through to London. And then down the other way, it goes all the way down Penzance. And that's the last stop on the line. Quite a feat of engineering to be able to bridge that gap. Along the looks of things, looks like they had a, a couple of goes at it. And look at that pillar, just standing there with nothing on the top. Oh. Two of them, three of them. That was definitely an old line, wasn't it? See, it's times like these 
I wish you got a, a drone or something. So not many people are keen on using that gate then. Pretty cool having that on your doorstep. Because then turn around again and look. That cloud's a bit threatening. Look at that. Unfortunately I'm going dead away from the river. However, I'm heading back to Truro, maybe head back to one of the other tributaries because I'll meet Clarabelle there at half nine. What time is it? Ah, ten past. I had better start heading back. Whew. How's about that for a view? Might be a tad windy up here, but bloody hell. Right, I'm gonna walk back down here and see if I can get the other side of that river. It is quite lane, I bet it is. It's bloody quiet around here. Amazing. Right, well, that's the way we need to be headed. Got to get back over that way. Yeah, so that didn't work out so well. Got to the top and there's a turn into Idlis. And I sort of decided to head back towards the river, but thinking I had a bit different, different spot, but I haven't, I'm back at the same old tributary, back here again. But let's get another, another look at these. Still amazed. So Clarabelle is now in town. So I'm gonna see if I can go catch up with her, head in that general direction and meet her for a coffee and a cake Deal. This is the top end of the town. We've got the courts over there, and then this is the cathedral. And we're just about level with the top of the viaduct, which is sort of through that direction. So, Clarabelle is just down that road. This has worked out very well. So, I'm going to go grab. Grab a coffee and a cake. I'm pigging starving. Back in town again. Cathedral through the way. And we're back at the river. So this is where the river flows underneath the town now. It flows all the way down underneath Lemon Key. And then pops up again on the other side where we first started. Right then, quite close to the coffee shop. We were gonna eat out, but there's no one else in here, so I thought, might as well. I know, I know, it's a one person. I know, but Maria's a bit cold as well, so. I want to eat then, and then probably isn't walking to get warm. That was a different one. So that was coffee on the corner, or corner coffee. Corner coffee, that was it. It was lush actually. I had a mocha. And now back to the river. So we come to a park that Rosie knows well. She wants to show me a trick 
that she can do on this climbing frame. Oh, it needs cleaning first of all, is it? I see. Woo! Look at you go. Right, how long do you hang there before you pass out? I can hang there for as long as I want. Can you? Me and Emerton were the only people that were able to make it that far last time, the first time we tried it, which was last time. Right. I've got to give it a go, haven't I? Let's see if we can have a return of the, of the hot chocolate, the, the mocha that I've just drunk. What do you reckon? Return of the mocha. The return of the mocha. Here we go. I'll, I'm a bit worried because it's not a bit big for it. <laughs> that noise that you made. I also tried to do that bit. This is fine. I know I can do it. It's on that. Right, let's crack on back home then. There's something that I've been wanting to try. 